you so much for joining us. This is Michelle Barone with R.E.D. Red, Relevant, Entertaining, Dynamic, and I'm here with my co-host, Tyler Kino. Tyler, say hi. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. And another co-host, Gregory, the Style King. How's everyone? Yes. <laughs> and our special guest from Polo Spreads Love, an incredible organization, Joshua Sadi. Thank you so much for joining us, Joshua. Oh, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. This is so incredible. I can't wait to learn more about your organization. I want to know where did Spread Love, Polo Spreads Love, come from? Um, it started um at a breast cancer walk, honestly. Really? Yeah. Um. I dressed up Polo, which is the face of our movement, um, a French bulldog of mine, in a pink suit. Really? Yeah, custom made for him, which I think he would love to hear all about. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I walked into a breast cancer walk. Uh, he was the star of the show. Um, and I said to myself, all right, he's making people smile. He's making people happy. He does this for me. Um, but I want to walk in a different direction than the walk because I want to make people smile a little bit more and people take pictures with Polo. So... I went in the opposite direction. Uh, nice. 15 minutes into the walk where it slows down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I let go of his leash because a breast cancer survivor locked the eyes with him. And he was pulling the leash. And I said, all right, this is a powerful moment of magnetic yeah. energy being passed along to each other. Yeah. So let's see what happens here. I trusted the instinct. I let go of the leash. I took it off. And he just ran right in her arms. Oh. Um, and you could just see that emotion being passed to each other and licking her face. And you see um, tears coming down her eyes. Oh. And as a human being, um, you start to feel teary eyes and you see the family members in the same type of um, emotions, right? And I say to myself, I've never felt something like this. Right. Wow, that's amazing. That's incredible. Can we bring him out? Yeah, Polo. Polo! <laughs> He's come on, such Polo. a cutie. Uh -huh. Stefania, come out with him. Come say hi, Stefania. Stefania's our honorary. Oh. 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 He just oh knows good people, you know? Oh I guess he's yours now. He's yours. We're talking about that magnetic energy. And, uh, <laughs> obviously, we have it. Yeah, he's tired of my love. That's he's so sure. cute. Stefania, you sure you don't want to say hello? What is We love you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's so handsome. Polo. Thank you. I was going to put him in his pink suit, but he's, um, I think that suit's retired now. Yeah. Aww. Aww. But it's so funny, he really does have one of those like energies that he exudes that just makes you really happy to be around him. Absolutely. Like even before we started filming today, we were all just like so happy spending time with him. He's Absolutely. such a cutie pie. And he's got his little red collar on. I love it. Yeah, I made love sure it. to go with the theme. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. So we want to hear about your mission. You know, right. tell us about Polo Spreads Love and the whole Spread Love campaign within it. Oh yeah, for sure. So, um, so that day um, changed my life. Right, so you could ask me um, what sparked it. Mm -hmm. That feeling at that walk, 20 survivors later sparked the feeling because I've never felt that feeling before. And I harnessed it and I said, what was passed here today? It was called unconditional love. Nothing monetary was passed. And when you can feel something like that, it triggers something inside of you where you said, this is my gift to the world. Oh. Our gift really, because it's led by him at the moment. Um, and he sparked something inside of me that I never felt before. And, and I knew that that's my gift to the world is being with him and spreading love to the community. Right. So we started to, um, train to go inside hospitals to see children and cancer patients um, and the whole nine yards. Right. Because in the hospital setting, there's floors for every type of type of yeah. thing that somebody's going through. So nine months of training got him into becoming a registered therapy dog. Oh my God. Yeah. He was about two years old at that point. And we've touched thousands of lives um, in hospital. And wow. I could tell you what we did at that walk translated into so much more because now you're gauging yourself like, okay, we could do this at walks once a year, right? But Imagine what we could do in these hospital settings. Imagine what we could do for people in need. And that was the fuel of the fire. And then um, creating clothing as our uniform, because that's our message, spread love, which is a message that I believe 
that is the most powerful message in the world because it doesn't divide and it unifies everybody. Yeah. Um, and then you have to be living proof of that. So um, early on, it was very difficult. Nobody believed in me and us. Um, you hard to build that step by step, step by step. And um, when you turn around nine years later and you say to yourself, we have an army of support that we go out, um, we've donated uh, almost $100,000 just for the same organization that sparked that feeling for Polo and I at that breast cancer walk, which is called the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. Uh, we've donated thousands of hoodies to less fortunate individuals. Uh, we went to her, um, Puerto Rico in 2017, right after Hurricane Maria hit, um, and we came down with 15 pallets. Wow. Which is, you guys know that. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. Well, we have to ship it down there on a boat, um, and then we met the pallets down there, and we helped give it out. Wow. Um, so we went to... Uh, the whole nine yard, we've done a lot, um, but wow. the mission is only getting started really for me. I always think about, I can't always talk about what we've done, it's what we want to do. Mm. Um, and you want to bring in more people to do that, right? The more support you have, the bigger the vision gets. Yep. And the bigger the vision you gets, the more you can do, mm -hmm. as long as you stay true to the purpose, which is helping people. <laughs> I love it. That's incredible. Why the colors? Like, what was the inspiration for the design of Spread Love? Um, well, this particular one, uh, we collaborated with a world-renowned Jason Naylor, which is an unbelievable artist, right? Like, I've seen his murals all around New York City. Uh-huh. Um, because I'm from New York as well. And I said, this artist speaks to my brand. Oh, mm. I love it. Mm -hmm. He speaks to the brand, you know? Um, and when you talk about love, love is inclusive. Mm -hmm. Colors obviously spark a feeling within each other. Mm -hmm. um, and when you wear the rainbows or wear the bright colors, obviously you, you are forced kind of to be happy. In right. the, but true. Like when you wear neon colors, you're not going to be upset. Right. Yeah, exactly. You're like, oh, I'm here today. Let's go. <laughs> I was going to wear my neon sweater, but you know, um, I wore the hat instead. It looks awesome. It's yeah. so cool. And I love like mm -hmm. the lightning bowl and Good. like... You know, I'm I'm curious to see Gregory. What are your thoughts on the brand? Like, what does it say to you? Here, let's look at the hat. Check that, that out. Now you guys know on walls, so it's um, no secret. I definitely agree that the uh, different colors colors give off uh, different vibrations. Yes, especially you know your brights and stuff. I love how there's detail on the inside, and it's almost like yes, made. I can't explain it, but even your shoes, like how they match everything, you made those right. I had a uh, local artist do that as well. Yes, uh, I give them inspiration of what I what I think would look good, and they just do the rest. So, the dog. I mean, let's yeah, talk about the embroidery like, because forget new era, <laughs> forget new era, polo. Yeah, polo. That could be less, almost like a double on top. I know. Uh, right? Forget about the old polos, the new polo. Right. Yeah. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Ralph Lord, un unbelievable <laughs> brand. <laughs> so we cute. love the horse. That's that's the inspiration. But I polo, like the polo, little polo, polo logo. <laughs> yeah. It's so cute. It is. I mean, the inside. You know what, Jason? I told Jason I want hearts. Um, and right. Give me something different to work with. Right. So turn on the hat inside out. No. Um. Yeah, you can see the inside of the brim is super. I love that. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. And then you got little yeah. polos all around in there. Um, oh. And this is honestly the first cap that we constructed from scrap. Why don't we show them, Gregory? Let's show the camera. Just turn it up and let's see. So it's all like hearts and uh -huh. it's very cool. I love that. It's so cute. And I love the swirls. It speaks to your heart. It's yeah. just lighthearted and it spreads love. Yes. Yeah, we'll I mean, make sure to give Jason a lot of credit for that. Absolutely. That's his, um, that's his gift to us. And now that's our gift to the world is bringing more love to the world and bringing more um, unity. And helping those in need is really like the core of what we believe in. Mm -hmm. um, and we try to unify each other through the community, right? So I'm very big on letting people know because of you, we are doing what we do. Yep, mm -hmm. and that's why you're you have that hoodie campaign too, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have an awesome campaign that we launched um, almost four years ago, um, where I sat down with Dario Wonder and Gina Grant, um, which are powerful individuals in the dance fitness world. Um, Called Zumba, but uh, love Zumba. Right? I, there you go. It's my favorite. So we gotta get we gotta get you dancing with them. I'm ready. Let's go. I mean, I'll zoom for right now if you want me to. Let's do it. 
<laughs> can I, <draw? laughs> I can only go far as like the electric slide, and that is what does it for me. I mean, yeah, it, it's good. Zoom is great. I love it. So go ahead. They got me dancing in my seat for sure. <laughs> uh, so I sat down with them in France, actually, um, and I came up with the idea with them, and I said, why don't we come together, right? Because his mission was called, it is called Wonder Love, and mine's is Spread Love, so why don't we spread the Wonder Love together and um, come out with a campaign that gives back. So every time somebody buys a sweater, why don't we go and give a sweater? Yeah, I love that. And um, the powerful thing is people that really um, need it, right? So uh, we sold a whole bunch, I think almost 500 that month, um, going into December, um, and we just walked around New York City handing them out. Like, wow, I um, they're in Portland, so they trusted me with giving it all back. So that's awesome. Yeah, went into shelters, set up like a pop up shop for people to just come and what's your size? Wow, I'll uh, get them that experience. Uh, walking around in, in February or January with cold hands and really seeing what they go through and trying to like give them some warmth, you know? Um, right. And that really sparked a lot more for us because you just start seeing, okay, what else can I bring into our movement to help others? I love that. And it just sparked into beanies, buy a beanie, give a beanie. Mm-hmm. Um, and then recently last year, we sparked um, our sock give back program too. So when you buy socks, we give back socks to the less fortunate. So, you know, I always try to do as much as I can. Yep. Um, and I say this humbly, we do. I did it all by myself. That deserves a round of applause. Because let me tell you, that is not the easy. You know, a lot of people, you know, think that, oh, you know, you you see this organization and it has 100 people behind it. And they, you know, your your stats, 200,000 donated, 50,000 hugged. More, more than 50,000. No, that was last year. That was last year. So, and then 20,000 lives changed. You see those numbers and like, yeah, they have the big kahuna behind them. I'm sure they got to, they raise money through a grant. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you uh, alone. I so I tell you, and I say this to the to the viewers and and to the listeners. I swear to God, I did it all by myself. Mm. There is no marketing team that brought money in for me. Right. There is only the community that I stand beside, and God is my witness that pushed me into this walk and right. changed my life. I like you said they didn't believe in you, but He did. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'm getting chills because I I remember um, when I started. People are like, get a life. It's like, what are you doing? You know, and I was, uh, I wasn't always like this. You know, speaking about Joshua say the individual, I was not a philanthropist. I was not somebody that wants to go out and help others. I never volunteered a day in my life before that walk. Ooh. So I think that's important for people to know. You can change that. I didn't right. come from money, and I didn't come from a background of, I volunteer for a living, and this is what I'm going to do next. I didn't. I came from a dark place that he brought me out of. And through my struggles, I use it as my blessing. Right. Wow. Oh, I, I, I'm moved. I, I'm I so moved by this. I wish you could feel the energy right now. Yeah, like, I could definitely feel. Yeah, the goosebumps. I got that. goosebumps. I feel super inspired and real. This is a true, authentic conversation. Are you willing to share anything from your past that helped it and, and, and talk to us about like how now you're doing so much better, you know? Yeah. I mean, um, so I would say, um, childhood was, is the beginning. Um, I've suffered from ulcerative colitis, which I don't know if you guys know. That's hard. It's a, it's a disease that you don't see. It lives inside your intestinal. Yeah. Right. So painful, painful. Um, so I'd like. Nine till about 11, it was my toughest times of my life, mm-hmm. early on, at that moment. Uh, spending hospital visits, turning into hospital stays, um, thinking that when you get out of there, your life's going to go back to normal because now you go back to your friends. But I took medication uh, that made my cheeks puffy. Mm. Uh it masks the problem, but obviously it gives you, if you have too much sodium, right. your, your cheeks puff up. Um, so I go to school thinking like, oh yeah, I'm back with my friends. Yeah, it's like, I just battled all these battles and now I'm good. Yeah. The kids now start picking on you. Yeah. It's horrible. So you're a good kid. Yeah. And now you want to go play with your friends. Mm. And now your friends are calling you names. Yeah. Ganging up on you. So the first day back at school, 
really was probably one of the worst days of my life. Oh man, that's horrible. And I never shared I never shared this publicly really too much, you know. So this is the first time I'm actually speaking on it. Yep. So, um, so you know, you start getting closed now. Mm-hmm. You become a tighter person, not so much like right free soul, you know. So when you see that and you feel that, you like, okay, hospital. Now you come here, now you're getting bullied. Yeah, it's not right. So um, nowhere to turn. That's yeah, nowhere to turn. But you know, things got better eventually. Um, and then you get older, the colitis goes away a little bit, right? So then you're starting adult problems, you know. So no identity for. Me. Um, and then you go into dark moments because you don't know who you are. You don't love your life. Uh, mm-hmm. and then you don't want to face your problems. Mm-hmm. You think that they'll just go away and you're yeah. not really like saying, this is my problem. Right. I face it and let me go one on one and break that wall. Right. Absolutely. You just keep turning the wall, but the wall is going to come now here. Now you turn the wall again and the wall is now here. Right. So you just keep turning around in circles thinking that things are going to change. And it never did. So, um, you know, I had to face the problem and I had Polo at the moment. And then that, that was just for me, he's my light. Oh, he's my spending God. time with him makes me feel good. Yeah. Right. So when I gave up, uh, going out and drinking at night, um, to mask the problem and really spend time with him. Now you're going into the quicksand because there's no, like, how you say it, uh, self-medication that you're doing to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Um, Did it make you just pass people? Yeah. That's yeah. really. So I, I would say I was always a good person. But yeah. because of the not trusting people anymore. Yeah, because of how you felt. Used. Yeah, even in the 20s, you know, you, you help people, they don't help you back, and they're not the right people you should be helping. So what I would tell the audience is, if you're a good person, help the right people. Yeah. And not the wrong people. Yeah. Blindsided. Yeah, because you're a giver, right? Our our nature as givers is we help everybody. The problem with that is you help the wrong people. They use you. Yeah. Yep. And it doesn't, you know, help you live your purpose. No. To me, it's about, you know, I think if, if young people can figure out what they what moves them faster, they'll live a more fulfilling life and, you know, have less dark moments. I think when you, you know, as a mom, like, I just want to see my kids happy. So the minute I see them slip, I'm like, oh, no, we're going back here. If someone's making fun of them, because it's going to happen, they have to have the confidence and know who they are to get through that moment. You know, they're going to get made fun of. Every kid does. It's part of growing up. It's part of building character. It's not good. It's cruel. It's hard. But every, but every kid goes through it, right? So they have to have that confidence to be able to really get through it and face it in the moment. Because if they don't, it's a year, then it's two, then it's 20. And then it builds into drugs and alcohol. And then it builds into all these things that mental health issues. Whereas if you just hit it and you really try to f- focus on it, you know, I mean, listen, there's a million different things that you could do to help cope. And some parents really try and their kid isn't receptive. So, you know, it's, it's not all parenting. It's also innate. It's so many factors. It's your environment. It's who's ch- picking on you. It's all those things. But I think as you grow up, if you can try to figure out your passion, your purpose early on, I think it really helps drive you to, to be the best you can be and the most successful you can be at whatever that is for you. Right. You know? 100% agree with that, yeah. So it's really, you know, that's what I look at for my kids. Like, I find what they're interested in, and I bring them there, and I, I develop that. It's not what I want. It's what they want. That's right. Yeah. And it's, you know, how do I get them to where they need to be? So... Anyway, back to you. You were, you know, CBS. I want to talk about good things now because okay, Polo yeah, Spread that. Loves was on CBS, right? You, you gave a beanie to Dale, to Gail King? Yeah. Um, I didn't, like, personally, I didn't give it to her. Um, through the power of our, my community. Um, See that? Yeah. Um, somebody bought, I want to say somebody because she's a powerful lady, um, Mary Beth. Okay. Um, she bought a, a beanie from me. Not telling me what's going on. Yeah. Um, and then I get a text message with the video of Gail King personally shouting us out and saying, Wow. Joshua, I heard about Polo Spreads Love from Mary Beth. Yeah. And let me tell you, I just love what you're doing. She puts it on in the video. And then she says, let me start. I think we all need more kindness, don't you? I'm going to wear this cap um, in the holiday season. I'm going on a vacation. And... 
we need more kindness out in the world. We do. Uh, you know, when somebody like that gives you a shout out, whether it was on TV or not, um, but really speaks to you in that manner. And then I read the text messages between them too um, and how she's really like, really cares about us. Uh, uh, wow. I would love the opportunity to sit on her show, right, and, and really tell the world who I am and what we do. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, people that pass the message to the people that have the bigger audiences really would help us out to, to the fullest. Of course. Absolutely. And the thing is, you're doing such an amazing thing. Thank you. We need kindness. We need to spread love. Mm. You know, I mean, th these these uh, articles of clothing, the hoodies, all this stuff, all these things are wonderful, right? But it's really the mission. Right. Yeah. It's the feeling. It's giving the kids the confidence. It's helping the community. It's giving that person who has no hope that has been through breast cancer the hope through polo, right? It's giving, it's, it's making people feel that kindness and affection that's going to really help. I was about to say, you, you have to. at the like Think about how many lives you've impacted. And that was never even, the goal. like you said, your goal at that point. You just saw him running up to this lady and that just sparked that inspiration. Yeah. And now look how many lives that you've impacted, that you've changed. It's incredible. Like I am getting very emotional. I know. It's, a it's very in intense yeah, and wild. Like envision myself of like everything that I've done to this point. Uh, right. As and human, you know, with the right energy and the right support. And, you know, I get a little emotional stuff talking about that because people really believe. Oh yeah, right, right. You right. Know, and sometimes um, I had a moment uh, back in August of this year. I go to a, a convention called the Zumba convention, right? Um, I'm really I'm a member of their community, but I don't dance to Zumba. But I'm a member of them because they're so passionate about spreading love, right? So I'm there, and their whole community really supports us to the max. And I'm there, and like people grab me. I want to take pictures with you. I want to buy merchandise. I want to. I want to. You know spread more love and they you know they give you that energy right <clears throat> so three days into it I, 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 I see an individual and I'm like how do people view me yeah I goes, mm. Joshua let's ask some people and you start asking oh my god I just love what you do and then it hits you because you never think about that you like I'm not egotistical and say I'm the man and this is what I do I'm very um aware of my feelings and who I am and I never push myself that I'm bigger than anybody else because I'm not you yeah. know so you, you, I stay grounded all the time but when you have that moment to actually say whoa how many people are aware of my mission and my movement and what I started and the why factor mm -hmm. hits you I sat down with the, with with my friend and I started crying you know? oh. I was like whoa. like God chose me for a specific path and I'm writing and I'm living it yep so you really got to step into this light and mm -hmm. and say yes this is who i am and this is what i'm gonna do right and i am passionate as hell to spread more love and right. i need you 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 and you to support us so we can help them 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 and them right right and when you step into that light and you are that human you know doors start to open for you like mm -hmm. never before right you could see it in your eyes like you are so on fire the fire <laughs> you are and i i love it i can feel it i love good energy and we yeah. talked about that gregory you know all of us have tyler about that energy and what that does to people and to do it for something positive like this is beautiful i appreciate that that um it, it took a lot it took a lot of willpower i'm not gonna lie to you. yeah it took a lot wow i was saying earlier that one positive, it takes a long time for one positive star to reach other positive stars. Yes. Got to go through a lot of negative. Yes. That's right. Positive ones out there, a few far in between, it just, you got to go through a lot of. Oh, absolutely. One that didn't believe. Yep. So how can people support? What's your URL? Oh, so we have a www.polospreadslove.com is our website. And Polo is the dog, by the way. So the inspiration for the brand was the dog. Yeah. Um, this is the baby right here, Polo. Oh my God, I love him. He's such a... Yeah, they, that, that's how it is. And I think um, our biggest accomplishment thus far, honestly, was uh, recently we dropped off a check for almost $28,000 to the American Cancer Society. Woo! Wow! That's awesome. Start hotter than you to grow up to see that. <laughs> a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> but do you believe like how the universe came full circle of that one? Because it's like you started at that walk, walking, 
and then you had your clothing as the main clothing as the driving force to get these donations for the American yeah hey, and in not one walk eight walks this past year in October of 2022 wow and we're in talks to hopefully do national next year so that number is definitely going to grow God willing um, well, invite us. We'll be there. Oh, yeah. Love to come support you. I need I need volunteers and I need people to support. We're there. October 15, 2023, Central Park. Uh, we're there. All right, let's go. 10-year anniversary. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Versus talking even more on the same exact day that we found our purpose. 10 years later, we're there again. That's so cool. Again, the, the sponsors of spreading love and helping the community through our clothing for um, breast cancer in a big, big way. That's, That's amazing. So thank you for taking a lead on that. We appreciate it. There's so many survivors and so many that have not survived. And Please. we definitely need all the support we can get. So thank you. Of course, we have to thank the American Cancer Society. They have a campaign called the Real Men Wear Pink yes. thing. Yep. Uh -huh. So <laughs> uh, to the viewers, please, they're national on that one. Um, look it up. Um, sign up if you're an individual like myself that stands for something powerful for the community, especially for women. Um, you can raise your own funds. Awesome. And you can stand as a soldier for this community and raise funds for the same exact reason that I do. You want to see an end to it. So um, definitely to the viewers and listeners, Real Men Wear Pink, American Cancer Society. All right. Um, it's national, so you guys can go in any city that you want and uh, spread the love for them as well. All right. Well, make sure you spread love. And again, one more time, where can people find you? Oh, please. Um, Polo Spreads Love on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook. Our website is where you guys can support us the most, which is what we need the most. Um, we give you an avenue to um, help the community through our clothing. So that is the driving force behind who we are and what we do. And you're wearing a message that gives back to so many different communities. So that's where you can help us. That's where you can find us. Should we give them a discount code? Yeah, let's give them a discount code. Go What's for it. What do you call it? Polo bread, baby. Red and I get 20% off. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> and then, yeah, let's showcase some of the things that you got. Ooh, I love, love that. Hat. So you guys could be so Oh, oh I love this. Oh. Well, he's Ooh. a style. Look at that. <laughs> I, looked, I was looking at this one first. Okay. I love this. How convenient oh, that we all. Those are gifts for yeah. you. Oh, thank you. I love that. Thank you. 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 Do the Yankees and Mets jerseys. Oh, I love they it. They make all oh, the sweaters, so it's all wow. handcrafted. And then this is handmade, tossed in. Wow, I love it. It's we perfect. have a bunch of different ones. So if you guys love quality and, and give back programs, uh, we're the brand for you. Perfect. I love it. It's amazing. So here for it. Well, thank you so much again for joining us. Let's spread love, right? We yeah. have to spread love. Make sure you check it out. Visit my boy Joshua's site. This is so cool. I love it. And it spreads kindness. At the end of the day, the mission is there. Thank you so much for joining us today on Red. I'm your host, Michelle Bergeron, and the entertaining dynamic with Tyler Tino. Gregory, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Episode is sponsored by my dear friends at Jador Fine Jewelry. Visit jadorfinejewelry.com.